This video demonstrates how we can bring backup information to the VMware management stack and managers through VMware's vCenter operations and Log Insight. Here we're looking at Log Insight where we have pre-created widgets that allow us to view the uh, space being consumed and the backup operations that have occurred uh, for our Avamar environment. So here we're looking at certain things like the amount of space per type of operating system, whether that's Windows or, or Linux. Uh, we're also looking at the biggest consumers of uh, space within our backup appliance. Uh, so we can choose out the ones that we may need to look at. And then we can also see the successful runs. So how many virtual machines were successfully backed up during which period. We can also see here on the left the scheduled runs. So what is my backup window where I have things scheduled? Uh, so you can see those runs that actually occurred there on a, a normal backup. And then also the failed runs. So if I need to look into any of the backups that failed, I can do that very easily by looking at this widget. Uh, we also split things out by data set. So if you're doing image-based backups and non-image-based backups, you can see the, the difference in what's being consumed in the, those widgets. Uh, it's also important to mention that Avmar generates plenty of other types of events. We're look, focusing mainly on activities here. So if you wanted to look at other types of events, uh, you could also create widgets for that as well. So here we've chosen the failed backups. It's important to look at the vCenter's Log Insights way of classifying the fields. So the field in this case, the client name, is how we understand which, uh, which VM is being reported to be failed. So you can see the VM's names there. Uh, we can also look at the source, so which backup appliance were these events generated by. Uh, another one to look at would be the summary. The summary gives us the events that occurred, so what is the description of it? So here you see that we had about 14 uh, failures for backups because the VMs didn't exist anymore. The next part that we're going to look at is vCenter operations. Here we're bringing in the backup activities again, but we're actually doing it in a more detailed manner. and We're bringing these in alongside the virtual machine. So you can look at the virtual machine statistics, and then you can also look at Avamar statistics. And there are certain ones that may relate, which may help in troubleshooting and understanding the environment a bit more. So the first integration here is going to be where we show the events for a virtual machine. Here you're seeing the health workload and anomalous uh, activities, and then you're also seeing the backup events being plotted on top of these. So we can very easily come in here and determine you know, the time when a VM is under the least stress. Uh, we can also do some other type of analytics to understand underlying data store performance, or even you know, virtual machines that share data stores and are you know, kicked off at the same time for backups. So plenty of things to do there. The next piece we're showing here are the metrics. Notice how we have a lot of Avamar metrics that are all alongside the virtual machine metrics that already exist in vCenter operations. So the first two that we're looking at here would be the scanned or protected uh, gigabytes along with the new bytes uh, that it, that's in megabytes. So as we scan somewhere around six gigabytes a second, um, we're actually protecting only about two megabytes. And that represents the deduplicated space that the backup grid is actually going to store. So there's a very functional way to leverage the, the graphs uh, and the, the basic capabilities of vCenter operations to look at the virtual machines and to understand uh, the backup related information. Uh, you can see that here because we're zooming into a specific backup that occurred and showing the, the average time and the duration of the backup as it occurred. The next session that we're going to look at is the enterprise side of vCenter operations and this allows us to do more analysis. So here you see a heat map which is pretty commonly used uh, where we can actually choose a virtual machine and this virtual machine shows up with a couple default scoreboards. Here we're showing that there's eight recovery points available for this VM at this time. We're also showing that its effective reduction or somewhat compression rate is about 99%. Uh, it showed up as orange because this represents one of the VMs that has the most new data being consumed. So he's giving a, a lot more data that's, uh, that we couldn't deduplicate to the backup appliance. We're going to choose another virtual machine and we're going to drill into some more of the metrics that are available. So as you look at the, uh, the graphs that showed up here, this again is showing the, the backups as they are occurring. We can zoom in as we did before to show the, uh, the actual rates during those times. We're going to minimize this widget, and one of the next ones down here is going to show us a few more metrics. So here we're showing the recovery points at the very top. So we have at most eight and at minimum seven recovery points at all times for that virtual machine. You can see the dupl duplication rate. You see where it drops in the middle? Well, that represents that we're bringing in more new data that hasn't been seen. So the two graphs are essentially inverse of each other. 
we're now going to look at the last widget that we have here. And this gives us a little bit of a view to help understand the environment more. So this is where we're actually bringing in not only Avamar metrics, but also virtual machine metrics. So here we're plotting the, the backups that are occurring on those spikes and are scanned average. Uh, then we're actually plotting the, the storage latency below that. So we can see that as we do backups here, we're actually not impacting the storage latency at all. So there you're seeing a 14 gigabyte a second effective scan rate, and you're seeing really no uh, change in latency for the storage operations. It's a very cool uh, integration here so you can understand how backups are impacting the environment. And then this last section is showing the snapshot space being used. You can see that we have on the bottom snapshot space being used for the virtual machine, and then during that time the latency of the virtual machine is actually increasing. So snapshots are definitely something that we want to plan for. Uh, we want to look at virtual machines that uh, possibly have high change rates uh, so that we can minimize how long snapshots are occurring to minimize the storage impact.